Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Yes, today we're looking at Acid Rain World. We're looking at here Kismet and Kunga, who are soil ghosts. So these are quite big boxes for a single figure, but they do have lots of things inside, including dio pieces, which is the main selling point. Now, some people have complained saying, why should I pay so much for a figure and a few bits of dio pieces? Um, where's the pictures on the side? Why? Well, there is a good question. Now, if you have been collecting or following Acid Rain World stuff in the past, you know that the pieces with the Dio parts and sides, like the uh, Victory of Sam Frace, the Paint of Victory, the um, Taste of Coffee set, became very, very sought after, and the prices shot up. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen to these, because these are far more mass-produced than those were. But if I have a quick zoom in here, we can see picture on Kismet. Looks pretty cool. So nice dio pieces there. He's got the tent with him there and the rubble and some weapons accessories. And then on Konga, get focus. More accessories and dio pieces again. Look pretty cool, it has to be said. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this for you guys, unbox and set up, and we'll take a look and get into this review. So back in an instant. Okay, here they are set up, and I've made the dio piece into a raised platform. The instructions for that in the box, but you can make it flat or other ways if you want. Um, I'm going to say this off the bat. This is one of the reasons why Acid Rain World is so popular. This set here is packed to the rafters of details. So many details. This I can see being one of the most sought after sets in the future. Um, really jam packed for the details. I had this at my, this set in my house for a, a few days and just look around to open it now for the video and I am impressed. Okay, so let's take a close look. Let's go for Dio pieces first of all. So at the bottom here, we can see that there are, so let me get a nice zoom. There is some graffiti on there, which looks really quite cool. Look at that. Very nice graffiti. Moving around to the other side, see my messy desk. Where are we? Here we go. There is, can't focus, more nice graffiti again. Uh, this side, not nothing on here. On the back, I'm not sure. On the back, I, I think there might be something on the back. On the back, let's just turn this piece around to have a look. Yep. So on the back, we have graffiti as well here. And these are just slotting plots. We can go down like that. This can go this way, upside down. But I think as the raised platform part, I think it looks fantastic. Now, these sort of pieces, these are like a resin. Do not do what I did and drop one. Fortunately, hit my leg, hit my foot, and then roll on the floor, and then smash into a thousand pieces. We also have a tent. Now the tent's got instructions, but it took me being a bit slow, about five minutes to realize there are slots stitched into the tent for the tent poles. And I could do it better at the top than that, but the tent is nice and it smells a bit funky, uh, which you might expect from saw ghosts, but it just feels a bit too small. Okay, accessories. They come with loads of accessories. I will show some accessories now, so... Two knives, I think we've seen both of these knives previously. Uh, really nice sort of a, I guess that's what, a tomahawk of sorts? Pretty cool. A rope which I haven't attached, I need to find the peg hole for this, must be someone's back to attach this. Let's have a quick look now, will that fit in his back there? That might fit in the back of his back. Belt, I'll look in the moment. And then other accessories they have. Well, look at that 
now as we take a close look at the figures. So let's take the first one here. I'm not sure about the mosquito thing coming out of his mouth there, but he does look great. And all of these grenades, one, two, three, four, five, are removable. And this, you can see, can peg onto his vest underneath. It can be taken off, obviously, and the vest can be taken off too. So there is some interchangeability with other figures if they have that vest. Well, even without it, you can just rest this on them. Doing a pretty bad job of trying to peg it in now. There is a little hole and there's a little peg there. And his gun, it comes with the guns in the holster. This really evil looking sort of axe there. I love these sort of road sign, <laughs> road sign, um, what do you call that? A road sign club, I guess. Soft goods, fantastic. That head sculpt's pretty nice. You can see they even underneath here, you can see details on the hair, but that is one piece. You can't take it off to see a head, which is really unfortunate. I wish that could come off. Oh no, I'm telling a lie. It is coming off. It does come off. Fantastic. Very cool. As I said, acid rain, acid rain features. Does this little mosquito part come off? That appears to be glued on, but you can try that yourself if you want, if you get the set. I think it looks even better without the, the helmet on, but the helmet is pretty cool, has to be said. Now, how am I going to fit the back on again? I just dropped one of these grenades. There we go. The grenades are on little loops. And there are hooks, you can see, on the little uh, short shoulder belt. I'm going to call it for now. I've no idea what what to call it, since my English has escaped me. Great looking figure. The only thing is, with this on his chest, it keeps popping loose really easily, even though you can plug it in. Okay, it's better. Let's go to his brother, who is considerably taller, because he's got the uh, reverse kneecaps, and I've straightened them out a bit so we could counterbalance that great big shield he's got in his hands there. He is a big boy. So he's got this great big shield made out of what? I don't know, but graffiti again. Again, a road sign club. This huge chopper, which is new, which I've stuck in there. I guess it does fit there. But that's a bit blunt. No sharp, well, sharp edge there. That is a particularly nasty looking weapon. You have to take the hip off and put the holster on his thigh. I'm not sure why to put two handles on the shield. I'd have had pre preferred to have one and a strap, but that's just my preference. Okay, let's take it off his hands. I'm sure that his uh, helmet can come off too. Yeah. Uh, same head, which is a same head. Very similar. So that means you can take off the mosquito apart from the other one. Just different colouring. Pretty damn cool. Soft goods again. Vest looks new, perhaps. Can't remember. Nice looking figure. Okay, let's get him standing up nice and tall. To get an idea of how big he is. Okay, so I'll stick him up here. And I'll stick his brother next to him. If they will both stand up for me. And you can see there is quite a height difference. Not as big as I initially thought, but maybe it's just because of his square big helmet he's got on there. Very, very nice looking. Okay, um, articulation. Let's go for articulation. It's going to be the same really as the Soil Ghosts, which I'll stick in just the videos for you at the top there. But we'll have a quick look. So hair, there's obviously going to be a left and a right, and up and a down. He's got a side to side. Shoulders will be around. Where they're going to fall down is lateral raise. You see, any further, and you pop the bicep out at the top, or you pop the shoulder out. However, now they're going to go back in nicely. 
However, he says the bicep bend is off the charts. Look at that. Fantastic. He's got a uh, wave articulation in this hand, wave, wave articulation the wave articulation other hand. <laughs> He's got trunk, forwards backwards, side to side turn. He's got waist turn. And his waist can go small forwards backwards, so he can get quite a good look down, look up. But you see that his waist opens up on the look up. And side to side is pretty good. Hips, pretty cool. Forwards is not bad. Backwards is pretty good, to be fair. And that's not going out much to the side. That's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. And I don't want to lose a grenade. Let me stick it up there. Double kneecaps. They should be really nice and tight. Look at that. Fantastic. He does have a thigh twist. These guys do have boot twist. His feet don't get very far on the tippy toe due to the uh, sculpting on the back of the ankle there. So it's uh, quite small. Dorsiflexation is quite small. And his feet do swivel and turn in and out. And his big feet, although they look a bit funky, do help with standing up and balancing your figures. Very, very cool. So this one, the head is the same, left, right, side to side, up, down. Shoulders will be exactly the same. Trunk will be the same as well. That everything's the same except for the legs here. Hips at the top are going to have the same range of motion. Less if you've got the uh, sword in there. Forwards is appears better. Backwards is about the same. You don't have the double front kneecap. You've got a fixed knee position here. I wish that wasn't jointed. And you have a double joint on the back. So it's a reverse kneecap. And you can sort of touch almost his shin bone to his kneecap bone. Feet are exactly the same as his brother. So decent articulation. They've done a pretty good job in this. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set these guys up in a pose with the other soil ghosts and the gurgis. And we'll come back and we'll take a look. And here we have a poor, lonely Narinu Sentinel. Sees just the videos. Taking the shot before he's going to be wiped out by these uh, soil ghosts. Here. Yeah. And here are the brothers looking very, very cool in their poses just behind there. This is a fantastic set. Now, I've for me, this is one of the best acid rain sets of recent times. I'm not talking about action figure. The figures are good. The figures are good. I think they look fantastic with those new helmets and whatnot. But I'm talking about the set with the dio pieces, the tent accessories. Uh, yeah, it's not cheap. But I think it's a good it's a good purchase. Is it an investment? Pfft, well, these are more mass produced than the uh paint to victory, you know, and also the taste of coffee, so I'm not sure about that, but they are great diet pieces as you can see. And they uh have lots of value for posing and play, I guess, for the adult player among you. Okay, so lastly, dive pieces again can be set up in different sort of ways. And you could do some you could do some of like that, I guess, if you wanted to. Make a sort of a doorway. That'd be cool if I could fit that there. Right fit there. And then, you know, you have your little floor pieces or whatnot coming around here. So you get, you know, different ways of setting up your dio pieces as well. It's a fantastic all-round set. I think uh, Kit Lau and uh, Toys Alliance have done a great job in this. Okay, very, very cool. If you haven't done so already, please check out the Awesome Action Toys Raffles page on Facebook. You can also go to the Awesome Action Toys Patreon page and become a, a patron uh, because that does give you lots of benefits, including early access, exclusive content that you don't see in normal YouTube or Facebook. And also you get ent free entries or included entries into the raffles that we'll be doing. Okay, so stay happy, keep collecting. I'll be back soon with another awesome Asteroids video for you guys.
，拜拜。